everyone. My name is Dominic Mateus, and I'm running for the position of Executive Vice President. Uh, before I begin my speech, I'd just like to take a second to congratulate everybody, uh, the entire show familia, for making 2018 to 2019 academic year such a success. From Rafa and Mari Cruz's great planning with ALE YLF, including all of the volunteers and workshop leaders, of course, uh, to the huge dub that we took in this year's e week, uh, placing first all of our own other uh, engineering club. Thank you, Riga. <laughs> and uh, it's been a very great year for every one of us, and we should all be proud. I hope that we can continue this energy on to next year and uh, throughout, or uh, on to next semester and throughout the whole year. Anyways, my speech, we're here to hear why I'm a great candidate for executive vice president. <laughs> yeah, not to congratulate everyone. So you do all deserve it. But that's safe for this week's banquet. <laughs> Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm a sophomore in electrical and computer engineering with a double major in computer science and a passion for SHIP. Uh, I was introduced to SHIP during my senior year of high school uh, when part of the 2016 to 2017 e-board came to represent SHIP at Sunnyside High School. Uh, I believe Asa was there. Yeah, <laughs> shouts out to Asa. Um, during that time, I was still undecided on what I wanted to do. Uh, I knew I wanted to try something STEM related, but my low level GPA said otherwise. But, uh, this feeling of uncertainty left me lost and confused. I wasn't even sure if it was worth pursuing a degree in engineering. But then that day uh, when SHIP came, they, they gave me that, that bit of extra confidence that pushed me to where I am now. Um, and, and SHIP was the one uh, that the the group that would help me build that comfort that I struggled to build. Uh, you see, I, I bring this story up to show that SHIP is more than just an engineering club, like a social party, a resume builder. It's a community, a community of great people whose only goal is to uh, empower others by helping them feel comfortable in what they want to do by reminding them that it can be achieved. Uh, that's the effect that SHIP had on me, and that's why I'm running for the position of Executive Vice President. Um, so now you know me, and now you know what shit means to me, but why do I pass as a valid candidate for Executive Vice President? Uh, well, I, I, I possess the communication skills that are necessary for keeping in touch with professionals, other engineering clubs, as well as our fellow e-board members. Uh, also, my experience as a math TA this past year has helped me learn how to be more approachable to students, uh, especially ones who are new to the UA. Um, I feel like it's really important to be more approachable, especially when you're carrying the role of uh, keeping uh, retention really high. Uh, as Executive Vice President, I know not only would like to fill my goals, but I'd also like to continue the previous VP's goals as well. Um, I hope to have, sorry, this includes filling all the empty seats in this room. Every seat that is next to you, I hope to have filled within the next few years as I, as I recruit new SHIP members on UA campus and spread the word of SHIP on high school campuses as well, all across Tucson. Uh, I'd not only like to promote SHIP to future potential shippers, but I'd also like to focus, I'd, I'd also like to focus on our current SHIP chapter members as well. I'd like to bring us closer together and bring or build stronger connections between one another by reminding eboard to engage with their fellow ship members and help plan social events as well as general body meetings. Um, I hope that my view of, of uh, the potential of ship has reflects yours. Um, remember, we all have the power to change lives, uh, empower our communities, and impact our world. It's, it's all just a matter of what our next move is. Um, thank you for listening, and I hope you consider me as your next executive vice president. I love the idea of you saying how you want to expand like early recruitment, like and outreach to like high schools. Like I personally don't know like my high school with like um, ship involvement. Like, what's your plan? Um, I, I was thinking about that as uh, I heard Isaac talking about how he 
had the idea of expanding the Ship Junior chapter to multiple high schools. Um, so my plan is to hopefully talk with next year's Ship Junior, um, Ship Junior Vice President, I don't know. Coordinator. Coordinator, right. And hopefully organize uh, or plan something that we could eventually make. Of course, like it's not very easy to come up with something like that <coughs> for uh, next year, but we could also uh, have that layout set out for uh, future potential. I feel like the vice president, how do you hope to uh, help the president fulfill his or her duties? I hope to fulfill or help him fulfill his duties by us supporting him because it's it's obviously the uh, the president's role is to help um, watch all all over the uh, the event VPs and I'd like to help assist with that. Um, my original thought as uh, executive vice president was to help assist the uh, event VPs, but that was before the director of operations came along. But I, I, not to say that I wouldn't still anyways. I mean, I would love to work alongside the director of operations, uh, the president, for example. Um, I understand the president can be very busy at times, so uh, as long as we communicate and we can find out how we can uh, organize uh, what we want to do in our ideas, I feel like um, working alongside him or her would be a problem. Okay, thank you, Tim.